So today, here we're standing like where there's all this construction that's going on and this road that's out in front of our office building used to be called Indian Rock Road. So Route 111 is now called Indian Rock Road and all these cars and people drive by there and they probably know it's Indian Rock Road, but the word Indian Rock Road probably doesn't have much of a meaning to them, but it has a meaning to you. Yeah, it's one of the only Native American artifacts left in town from that period. There's really nothing else beyond for the settlement by the Scotch-Irish left in this area. Well, the first Native Americans in the southern New Hampshire area were between about 1000 BC and 1700 AD. Wow. So it probably would have been at least a thousand years old. And the tribe stayed until the, pa the, the passing of their leader, Chief Passaconaway. He died in, in about 1680 and then the tribe left for Concord and then they eventually moved to Canada. I, you know, my understanding is it's kind of overgrown and there's no sign marking where it is. Yeah, there's a plaque on the rock itself, but it's kind of hard to read. It's been oxidized over the 70 or 80 years since it's been there. So there's really nothing to see from the road that would, that would tell you where the rock is. So this must have been, determ been determined as something that was a historic spot in town because the road at some point was actually named Indian Rock Road. Yeah, I'm not sure when it was actually named Indian Rock, but it was, but at least dates back in, back to 18, 83 when it was listed as Indian Rock with a little history about it that was known then. Why did you get involved in this, Derek? What, what prompted you to do this instead of, uh, say, uh, video games or something like that or things like that that other, other people your age get involved with? Well, probably about with? seven or eight years ago, I saw the Images of America Book of Windham. So then I became interested in finding postcards of Windham. So I went on eBay, found some, and then I just kept collecting more and more and then I eventually thought that I should research some of it and the best way to do that would be a website where other people could see what I've been doing. So should we go and check it out? Yeah, I think Let's that'd be a go. good idea. You lead the way. So here it is, the famous Indian rock. Indian rock. Over these rock-strewn hills and through these woods, the Indians roamed on their hunt for game. On these waters, their canoes were launched in their quest for fish. Nearby fields yielded their harvest of corn, and on this rock it was ground into meal. This tablet erected by the town of Windham, 1933. And here we are today, rediscovering yeah. it. And hopefully many people in the town, as a result of your uh, efforts here, will rediscover it as well. It might be a little hard to actually see the hole because it's been so worn through the weather for the past few hundred years. Okay. But there are indentations on top that you could All see. right, how do we get up there? Oh, yeah. It should be right about here. And there's a clear notch right there. Yeah, there's a couple di distinct holes that would have been ground down using stone. So I, I noticed uh, we have this area as well. Is this an area that they may have sharpened knives or tools? It likely would have been used for something. You can see here how it's almost perfectly rounded. It's not something that probably would have occurred in nature without them having worn it down to that shape. So this is where they'd place the corn and grind it down? Yes, they would have had a handmade pestle from a stone that they would have worn down using other tools. And then they would have came over here, pounded their corn, brought it back to their wigwam or wherever they lived on the shore of the Cabotan. Well, fascinating. You're standing right in... Right in history. The, yeah, right A thousand history. years ago, the first people to ever live in Windham came here to grind their grain. So arguably the most ancient relic in our community or ancient sign of most human definitely. civilization. Yeah. Far before the Scotch-Irish came in, in 1719. Well, thank you for all of your efforts with thank this. Thank you for really, having me today. Really appreciate it. <laughs>